Hello, this is Craig, going through a, another image recipe, uh, this time nice, soft, subtle boudoir image, uh, window lit, uh, uh, for a very subtle final treatment uh, of the image. So we'll be making use of actions from the toolkit, the Beauty Bar Pro and Havana, uh, as we go through and work on this image. We'll show you where we started from. There's our out-of-the-camera version. And after a few stages and some couple of quick treatments, uh, that's our final that we're aiming at. So we'll show you uh, what was involved in getting there. Let's go back to our early version of that. So starting off from here within the toolkit, toolkit's really nice because if you've got uh, if you enjoy doing things manually in Photoshop, uh, not relying on plugins or a lot of automated uh, processes, uh, the toolkit's got a whole series of different techniques uh, and tools that you'll make use of. Uh, one of the first ones we'll use is our Color Genie, and it's got a light version, uh, so not as intense. So basically, it has a treatment, sets ourselves up. We could have done this in Lightroom or otherwise, but if we wanted to fine-tune it at this stage now that we're in Photoshop, we can decide, okay, we want to come in there and just lighten up our shadows a little bit more. Uh, we like what's happening right around there. And if I wanted to adjust my color balance uh, or my saturation, all of that would be in there as well. The other thing that you'll find with the Color Genies is that they're a nice way of working through mixed light sources. So uh, it's a good final step for tweaking your color in images. So I use them that way a lot. Anyways, back into our uh, treatments with the toolkit. One thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little softer through here. So I'm going to go into my softening actions and I'm going to use something called the powder puff. And we'll press play. And it's just going to, again, as the instructions say, just give a bit of a lighter, softer feeling to what's going on overall. So I'm just de-emphasizing the detail that's in this specific area. And you could do something like this with clarity in Lightroom, but it's not quite the same thing because Photoshop, you've got your blend controls. So it's much more effective and higher quality treatment uh, for what's going on through there. So again, you can see our before and our after, just de-emphasizing that area. So now that we've got that, we're going to go back into our beauty bar because the beauty bar beauty of it is that it does have the automated treatments with the smart masking built in. And in this particular case, we're going to make use of the Beauty Pro uh, Lifestyle, LS for Lifestyle, as opposed to PT for Portrait. So Lifestyle is three-quarter full length, so we're going to press play on that. Runs through, sets things up, brings a little bit of shadow detail, edge accentuation, uh, does our color treatment, and we have our nice softening that's just happening. And again, I don't want it to be overdone, but you can see we've just got a little hint of softening that's being applied intelligently to the skin tones without having to go in and do brushwork or any preliminary uh, treatments that way. And if we want, we can scale that back or work on the mask too. Uh, we've got that ability uh, built in. So decide that we like it there. Now we're going to uh, do a black and white conversion and I'm gonna bounce back to the toolkit uh, got a couple of different black and white treatments within the stylers but for the most part what we're going to use right now is this black and whiter and when you run through it's going to pop up a series of instructions which teach you how to use the color controls available and this is a big thing about the actions that they will walk you through the process and you can learn Photoshop by making use of the actions at craigsactions.com so we'll press play we get a description that pops up runs through then it describes what happens with your saturation, with your mixer panel, and the fine-tuning overall with the curves. So it's got all that set up, and then you can uncheck those steps so that they go away, uh, the stop messages anyway. And you'll see within here that we have our choices of color controls, and I can come in and, for instance, on my hue saturation, if I want to just play with uh, my custom tonality, I can go into my reds, and I can just swing the tone a bit on there and I can see as I bump it up to this side I bring up a little lighter and a little bit of a nicer tonality in terms of the separation. So we like that there and if I wanted to do the channel mixer that blends that way I could take my reds down or make them up and you'll see that they add up to an even 100 when you have that set properly. Uh, and we've hung on to everything that we need to there. 
So, yeah, about there is good. Uh, that's just choice. I uh, kind of liked it where it was. And I can also take this and turn it down as little or as much as I want. So you can have some pretty cool semitoned uh, treatments as well. And uh, that's actually where we're going to leave that. It's not the complete black and white, but just almost full black and white. So I'm just bringing up a little bit of the color tone that exists uh, in the image. So we've got that there. Image is pretty well done. If uh, we want to see where we started from there down to here. And now I'm going to go in and make use of my Havana fine art treatment because it's still a bit contrasty. I want to have it a little softer overall in terms of the color tone and just introduce a subtle base overlay uh, image. Uh, within the Havana, We've got the cheat sheet. You can see uh, elsewhere with the set to show the individual textures and the overlay background images that comes on this. I'm going to make use of number three, and of course it's a horizontal. So we'll press play. And again, it will walk through and set up my layer so that I've got the controls right at my fingertips. Uh, make my selections through Photoshop. So all I need to do is just come in and start working on the image. So. Our original is safely intact right here, and then everything else is layered on top. Background through there, let's just go in and give ourselves a larger brush to work with. Oh, that's too harsh. Let's brush back, working at 30%. Bring back a few things around through here. Just our over overall. And we got things about there. What's nice is that I can take this and I can scale it back again as little or as much as I want. And I just want something back in through here. I also have controls for the softness in terms of how soft or textured uh, that background overlay comes in. If I zoom in, you can see that a little better. Uh, the texture is nice, but I need the softness to uh, blend it to the image. So we'll take that and we'll just take our detail back a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit of an edge to it. I've also got controls still within the background options. Clicking on there, I can take my saturation up or down. Uh, now in this case we're going to take it down a little bit. Uh, or I might decide I like bringing up that overlaid retro vintage uh, washed out color stained look. Mm, not right now though. So I've brought that down. Uh, my next layer up, I've got my vignettes. So I'll run that and say, well, that's nice, but it's a little strong. So I've got a choice between major and minor. Just do that a little bit. Decide I like that there. That looks good. If I wanted, I could do the light vignette as an option, uh, as a different style. Finally, we've got our tint controls. By doing that, it overlays a color onto the image, uh, and I can still control that uh, right through the full range of color tone options. And so I'm going to keep that a little on the light chocolate side through there. And yeah, about there. We like that. That's nice. And this down through here, again, this becomes a choice. This is sort of part of the style. It may or may not look entirely the way that you want on a print, uh, but you've got those choices to brush it back, deal with that as you want. So we could certainly take this down and if we wanted uh, just brush that back slightly so it's not a distraction, but we've still got that nice feel overall for what's going on from a contrast image to very soft, subtle treatment going on through here. Uh, pretty much done with the image now. If you want to just see where we were, here's where we started. And here's where, after going through a few different treatments, done through there. And of course, all of the actions have your before and after and very strategic uh, history states that you can work with uh, and pick up what you were doing. And of course, you can see the edges that we're about to do. So now that I've got that the way that I like, I'm going to go back in and again within the Havana, we'll go down to our edge options down through here. I'm going to work with the edge clear border because uh, I don't want to have a hard white border. Uh, we'll just select something that gives a little definition without being too distracting. Select that there. And the trick on this one is that before you go to its sizing, it's got a step dropped in place. If you go down and if you select your image, here's the border that we just, border mask that we just opened. Here's my image, and it'll resize 
the border mask to the proportions and pixel count of the image that it's going to. So it's a nice way of not having to have a whole series, a whole set of different sizes and options and formats uh, as one size fits all, uh, if you will. So we've done that, brought that through, and I'm going to take that again and just scale it back. So I've got a hint of something there without it taking over and being too distracting an element within the image. If I wanted to make this a print uh, as opposed to an online, I could just go right through to the full white just by shifting that to normal and then brushing out the uh, different parts that of course we don't want right in some of those areas. Uh, bring that back and we got that and then when I make a print I'm going to have that nice rough separation uh, on the paper and the uh, tones as they separate to that. But for now we're going to keep this on our soft light where it ended up the first time and just scale it back to about there. So uh, when I go to print all I need to do is my final image sharpening so on this base layer there, I could come down and select my Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, and whatever amount that I happen to make use of. Uh, it's just going to apply to the image layer portion as opposed to the uh, texture and the other elements uh, of the fine artifacts. And then this image is finished. So again, we made use of our sets from the Havana, the Beauty Bar Pro, and the Toolkit uh, within craigsactions.com. Here is our starting image, and there's our final, uh, making use of the action sets at craigsactions.com. Thanks, and take care.